You're listening to the Talkative Introvert Podcast. I have such a hard time with the intro because I don't know what to say, but I also realize that in other podcasts, they introduce themselves every time just in case there's a new person coming into the pod, hmm. right? Because we always, like, just continue talking as if people have <laughs> been like, listening since the beginning. Like yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe I should start doing that with my intro. Okay, you know? try it out. All right. Well, hi, everyone. I'm, like, waving my hand. Hello. <laughs> That's Hello. like when President George W. Bush waved at CB Wonder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, good times. Anyways, uh, okay, so, try again. Sorry, okay. Bad. Hello, hi. I am Melissa, aka Mia, as my friends and family know me as. I am the host of today's podcast and all the other days that you listen to the Talkative Introvert podcast. And join with me is Bailey, my friend, a bestie. Hello, hello. Good Whenever. Whenever people say hello, I think of um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Hello! Hello! Yeah, that part. Help is on the way, dear. <laughs> Such a good movie. Oh my god, I know, right? Rest in peace. Have you ever been to the house in San Francisco? It's in San Francisco? Uh, yeah. I haven't seen the movie in a really long time. It, yeah, and there's like tons of like art and people have like etched into the trees in front of the house like... We miss you and we love you. Do people live in that house, though? Fuck if I know. Like, can you imagine people constantly going there? I would never live in a house that's famous. Oh, yeah, never. What the fuck? Absolutely not. But some people do. Immediately, no. They live in houses that are, like, famous. Good for them. Yeah. And I'm like, why? Why would you subject yourself to that? You can afford it? You go, girl. No, thanks. I don't want people to know where I live. I don't want to be that person like, oh, you're the full house person or you're the Mrs. Doubtfire house person. Um, I don't want anybody to know me, period. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) I'm not kidding. Noted. Duly noted. Except for you, obviously. As we talk on this public platform. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, Okay. Okay. Anyway, so today's episode, we're talking about Seattle, right? Yes! A trip recap! I'm super excited. I've been looking forward to this for... Since yeah. you got back. It's like, <laughs> it's like a week Literally ago. like Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> so both Bailey and I went to Seattle. Separate trips, though. You yes. went with your childhood best friend, mm-hmm. and I went with my former co-worker turned friend... <laughs> <laughs> on two separate trips, but we both went to Seattle. And relatively close together, like a week or two apart. Yeah, really close together. I yeah. And I didn't even know you were going to Sa- Seattle, and you didn't know I was going to Seattle uh-huh. until one day you were like, hey, by the way, can you pick me up? <laughs> <laughs> can you take me to the airport? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, I'm going to start with you, though. You want to start with me? Yes! Okay, I wasn't sure how we were going to do this. Um... Oh, let's do like general just highlight of Seattle Mm -hmm. now. What your thoughts are of Seattle. Okay. Okay. Because I know you did just go to Seattle. Yeah. 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 So, but I stayed in Seattle. So my overall thoughts, it's definitely smaller than I thought it was going to be. First, I don't know why in my head I thought it was going to be like this big old city, like, Mm -hmm. but it's pretty tiny. Yeah. Like Compared a little, to like San Francisco or yeah, LA. it's probably yeah. more like Sacramento, a oh, bigger than Sacramento, yeah. but definitely not nowhere close to like San Francisco. No, not at all. But overall, like I thought it's a really cool city. There's a lot of cool things. Um, really pretty, beautiful sights. Yeah, you know that's the good stuff. <laughs> And, like, during the week, like, even though it's summer, was not busy. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people. I went, so I I left Tuesday, got there 
like around five or six, I think, in the evening, and then came home Saturday, which was perfect. Mm -hmm. So if you guys are going to Seattle, definitely do weekdays because my friend stayed a couple more days to be with her friend. Mm -hmm. And she Snapchatted me and all the places that we went to packed. Interesting. And lines like crazy. Mm, on the weekend? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. she stayed until, I think she went home Monday. Mm, got you. Yeah. So don't go on Saturday and Sunday. <laughs> no. You know, if you can. <laughs> um, Avoid weekends. Check. Yeah. yeah. The only weird thing, though, is that everything closes early, at least during the week. Mm -hmm. A lot of things close early. Some places aren't supposed to close early, but they would have a sign like closed early for safety, which I thought was kind of weird. But then um, as the time went by, I was like, oh, this makes sense. Uh, Some of like the weird things, maybe because I'm not a big city person. Because I didn't experience that at all when I was there. I am. There's a subreddit about it. (gasps) Or there's a there's a thread on one of the subreddits about it because someone asked the same questions. So I was like, I wonder if this is normal what, or just well, because. What's the answer? Some people said it had to do with zoning. Some oh, I found the Reddit. To... Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. I can't remember fully. Has been this way for decades. I'm on Reddit for the record. Yeah, yeah. Um, why does Seattle close so early? Um, one person replied and said. Has been that way for decades. Downtown rolled up at 5 p.m. in the 80s. Okay. I think a lot of the businesses learned that downtown late night isn't worth the business traffic because I don't think there's any steak and shakes anywhere but 3rd and Pike Place. Okay. Businesses learned that downtown late night isn't worth the business traffic. Mm Mm-hmm. The only cities in the U.S. that don't close early are NYC, Chicago, Vegas, and Miami. That's not true. Yeah, it's not true. Here, Sacramento, you can... There are tons of places. Like, there's grocery stores that are open 24 hours. Like, I've been out since, like, like 3 or 4 in the morning. Exactly, and bars are so popping. And, mm -hmm. yeah, that's super weird. Because it's... So, because California, we have last call at 2... Right. Yeah. And so it's perfect businesses for restaurants to be open till like four in the morning. You know, all the drunk people want to go eat afterwards. Yeah. I mean, there has to be like late stuff because there's some and shit. there's like a some that we went to that were open late. But it was just kind of like overall, a lot of places were closed early, which I thought was kind of interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then, like, well, I'm just not, I'm never in downtown anywhere, you know? Yeah, so I think this is, like, the first time in a long time where I was, like, in a city for longer than, like, a couple hours. Because I only go to downtown <laughs> SAC. Because <laughs> I only go to downtown SAC when, like, there's a work event or, like, <laughs> some type of event. For that some reason, be. everyone wants to go downtown. Which I don't understand because there's perfectly great restaurants around me in my vicinity. So maybe this is just me experiencing city life. But there's a lot of, not a lot, but like, um, like the homeless people, <laughs> which, you know, Sacramento is not any better either, but I just, you yeah, know, I never, as bad. yeah, like I don't, I don't go to downtown for that reason. So but it was just like weird. Like we got, we saw this guy. We call him the zombie guy because he was literally go down, going down the pier, walking like with his hands out and just like, like chomping his teeth, Ugh, just out at people. It was like nails on a chalkboard, hearing your teeth. Like, yeah, sorry, I, know, I don't like that either. It's really bad for your teeth to do that too. Yeah, but he was just like chomping his teeth, going down the pier, looking at people, and we're like, okay, no, no eye contact, no eye contact. It, yeah. It's like, it's such a catch 22 because it's absolutely terrible. Like, these are people, yeah. humans with souls and families, and lot, you know, this, and this is their life. Mm-hmm. They don't have anywhere to call home. They sleep on the streets every single night. It's absolutely terrible. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, 
It's also scary. <laughs> it's very scary. It can be very dangerous. I used to work downtown Sacramento, and one time I was walking to work in the morning, and this homeless guy asked me if I had any change, and I said no, and he spit on me. Ew. Yeah. And, um, and you know, there was this one homeless guy who, like, picked up a trash can and, like, threw the through the window of the... Sheraton Hotel downtown. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, like a lot of yeah. Just, it's it's scary. Yeah, so because it's, it's like, not. It's such a double edged sword. Yeah, because a lot of these people. I don't want to say a lot. I don't want to overgeneralize, but at least the ones I saw in Seattle, they were definitely like zonked out of their brains. Drugs. Like they're yeah, they were on something. Like they were. Um, there's a lot of security guards. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. There's a lot of security guards. Oh, yeah. A lot of people, like, telling people to move out, move out of the way. Like, there's these two people clearly about to do drugs, and the security guard just, like, he just sighed and walked slowly over. He's like, y'all know you can't be here. Mm-hmm. Like, he's, like, over it. He's just, like, over his job. Yeah, because he then, said that for, like, the 20th time. Yeah, day, and he's literally like just walking the whole block, doing that over and over again, moving people out of the way. Mm-hmm. And like, um, and some people just like no shame, just do it right there on the street too. Like, Drugs. yeah, because I've we, never experienced anything like that until this Seattle trip. Yeah, ever. I've never seen somebody smoking meth, and they're like blowing the smoke like in other people's direction. Mm-hmm. Where, like random people are just passing by on the sidewalk. Mm-hmm. They're like blowing the smoke in their towards them yeah and like cops are walking or you know driving by nothing nothing Nothing. yeah it was really bizarre because like we went to a dispensary and the guard literally took this piece of foil out of his pocket unfolded unfolded it we weren't there yet we were walking towards it and i saw him do that he sniffed up some white powder you know you can use your imagination for that and then a little bit like went on his chin. So literally, he's just like, um, "Hey, ladies, welcome. Can I see your IDs?" And literally, just like powder on his chin. I was like, "Okay, here." Despicable. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Damn, no shame." I on the job like, too. I've been like, "You have something on your chin." That's some like powdered sugar. Something white. <laughs> you just see the donut. I was like, damn, on the job, on the clock, too. Just Some like straight no up. No fucking shame, bro. It's insane. And the guy that checked us in, and we kind of had a pretty, a pretty nice hotel. And the guy at the check in, like his eyes were shifty looking back and forth. And, you know, Lily tried to ask him, like, hey, you know, what's a good place to eat for tonight? Because we just got in, and just yeah. want to get like a quick bite or whatever. And he like rambled on, but never actually gave us a place or where to go. <laughs> <Love it. laughs> and he was just like shifty eyed the whole time, looking like left to right. Oh my god, what the fuck, dude! And we we're like, how did? Why are you in the front desk? But later on that night, he um, they switched. He like ended up doing something else, and someone else went in the front desk. Maybe he was like covering short staff, and he's yeah. like, I don't know how to do this. Maybe. I don't know. But it was just, like, weird. And, like, because Lily's like, did you see his pupils? And I was like, <laughs> no. Why? And she's like, oh, man, he's definitely on something. And I was like, dang. I can't on the clock. living like that. So mm. expensive. I know. Like, I can't even afford groceries half the time. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to afford heroin? Yeah. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. But I will say... Compared to like San Francisco or like LA, even sometimes Sacramento, Seattle is pretty clean. Like I didn't, yeah, I, it I didn't, agree with that. yeah, it didn't smell like pee. There were people who, um, who like they were like street clean, like sidewalk cleaners that people were using. You know how like the street sweeper, but it's mini for the sidewalk. sidewalk. Yeah, and I was like, oh, that's they cool. Need that in San Francisco, that entire oh fucking city smells uh, like piss and shit. Like, I cannot stand San Francisco. Shade, shade, shade. All the shade to San Francisco. Like your shoes are literally sticky. Yeah, with with pee. Yeah, like it's yeah. Human pee. Like your shoes will smell after you come back from San Francisco. I know. I had Guaranteed. to wash my shoes, and I had to take them off at the front door. I'm like, I'm not walking in my house with this shit. Yeah, it was pretty yeah. gross. I went there last time. I went there was May a year ago. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't need to come back here. <laughs> like. 
my friend, um, she's a single mom of four, and she took her kids to a Giants game because they're, like, huge Giants fan. Yeah. And she said that there was a homeless person taking a shit on the sidewalk, like, right in front of her kids. Oh, my God. And, like, homeless people, like, screaming and, like, cussing and stuff. Yeah, it's pretty, it's gone right pretty bad. Right in front of kids, like, it's just wild. Like, it was already bad, but it's gotten way bad, mm-hmm. like, since the pandemic. And at the same time, like, this is their world, too. Like, mm-hmm. we all have to learn. We all have to live together, you know, on this in this world. And we all need to understand that we all have the right to exist in this world. Yeah. With some exceptions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've just, like, one of the nights we were, it was, like, pretty bumping, like, outside. It was Friday night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, like, we opened the window because we just wanted to, like, you know, see what's going on. And then after a while, I was like, Lily, Lily do you want the window open? She's like, no, close it. <laughs> it was so loud. I have come to learn after staying in, like, Seattle, like, downtown. I don't know. I don't think I'm a city person. Oh, I'm definitely a city person. <laughs> I know that. Like, I don't sure. think I can do this. It's so loud. I don't know how people, like, live downtown Sacramento. Yeah. I mean, you know, to each their own. People just love that stuff. Yeah, I guess so. They love the liveliness. Like my mom loves the liveliness. She loves that her we she has like these one neighbors that are um they kind of have a part not a party, but like people come over a lot. They're always up late. They have their lights on. And my mom likes it cuz it she feels it makes her feel safe to know people are awake or that they're up or whatever. I can understand that. Yeah. Plus, in the Philippines, like, they're, um, she's, like, closer to Manila, which is the capital. Mm -hmm. So, she's used to, like, people, lively stuff all the time, 24-7. Is Manila, like, a, like, a... It's, like, the metropolitan, like, it's the capital. So, it's, Mm -hmm. like, a really big city in the Philippines. Oh, okay. It's, like, okay, Yeah. So, she's... She's used to all the noise and all that stuff. Do, do the Philippines, do they have a big homeless population like they do in the States? It's hard to compare because it's a different kind of homelessness, mm-hmm. if that makes sense. Like they have the squatter areas mm-hmm. um, where people literally live and they like have like these makeshift houses. and Yeah. Home. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's like... So, like, yes and no, mm-hmm. I guess. It's hard to... It's just different. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I mean, just like everywhere else in the world, there's homeless people everywhere, mm-hmm. you know. But, yeah, so overall, like, I thought it was a cool city. I would I would definitely go back to visit, mm-hmm. but I would never live in a city. Mm-hmm. I would never live there. Yeah. Um, I do like, though, when we would go to like the park and just like watch the water and mm-hmm. watch the city lights like there's stuff like that that's so like gorgeous I was the like, views of the Puget Sound yeah right like stuff like gorgeous. that I can get I could get down with but the city part no I could totally see you living in Washington <laughs> I'm like trying not to cough <laughs> bless you thank you um, so what's your general just overview before we go to like you know detailed stuff um i had an absolutely amazing trip amazing and like i miss it so much and it's just so beautiful Mm -hmm. absolutely gorgeous i never realized how ugly california was until (laughs) i went recently to washington um and it was healing for sure i got to spend four days with my childhood best friend we've known each other since we were six Mm -hmm. so 24 years that's a long time yeah and um it was just absolutely amazing i went and saw my old house yeah that was a trip do you feel like your trip is so different because yeah i'm a tourist whereas you went back to your hometown yeah it was like family yeah. Yeah. Family centered for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But what do you think of like, I guess Seattle since, you, cause you haven't been there in a while since your last trip. I was, there were parts I was just absolutely horrified. Yeah. 
everywhere you go, <clears throat> people just straight up doing meth, smoking meth right there, mm-hmm. right a, f- a few feet from you. I've never even seen anything like that before. And I was talking to people here and they're like, oh, I see that all the time when I go to San, San Francisco. I've never seen people smoking meth in San Francisco on the sidewalk. Like, yeah. truly, like, I don't remember, recall ever a time. Like, yeah. there were, in Seattle, there were people passing on the sidewalk with their ass hanging out and a needle sticking out of their ass. Just pass out right there on the sidewalk. Yeah. Next to the Westlake Gallery Mall. Like, what? I know, it's pretty insane. It, yeah. It, maybe I'm just sheltered. Maybe we're just sheltered, but like. Well, yeah, because we don't visit cities that often. Yeah. And again, it's like, it's a very sensitive subject. People are really passionate about homeless, about the homeless homeless crisis. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I agree. It's just awful, Mm -hmm. you know? And like, I don't want to say anything too fucked up. I think that some people are in that situation by choice. I think the majority of people are in that situation because of mental illness and things that they have absolutely no control over. Yeah. Yeah. My grandma was homeless for a long time. Oh, really? Yeah. She, like, 10 years or something like that. Oh, wow. I didn't mm-hmm. know that. And she finally got arrested, and they figured out, holy shit, this woman's batshit insane. And then she got to a psych facility, and she's been fine ever since. Oh. Because they got her on the right medication. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. There's like a lot of. I mean, I don't really. I I don't know enough to get into like the more like political stuff. But mm-hmm. all I know is that California makes a ton of money off the homeless population because they get money for aid, you know. But like, where is it going? Because mm-hmm. clearly, it's not helping. Because all it's it's just getting been getting worse. We're getting more money, but the homeless problem is getting worse. And I feel like they need to do something because these people like, yes, there are people who made bad choices, continue to make bad choices. Mm -hmm. Um, But there's also people who just need help, but don't know how to get help, don't Mm -hmm. have the money to get help Mm -hmm. or don't even know where to start, you know. And then with this pandemic, with like the lockdowns and people losing their job jobs and like their homes, like it just made it even worse. Yeah, that definitely contributed. Oh, for sure. Like it's. It definitely contributes. Like, there's no like argument against it. You know, you mm-hmm. you've literally can see it happen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think that San Francisco has gotten way worse. Oh yeah, I don't like going to San Francisco. Me neither. Absolutely hate it. Which sucks because we used to go to San Francisco a lot. Like for why though? Concerts? Like like. Well, yeah, concerts, the Cherry Blossom Festival, like my family's in the Bay Area, mm-hmm. like, um, and just like nostalgic reasons too. Like my mom just likes going there too because we, um, like, you know, we used to live there. We used mm-hmm. to live in the Bay Area and all that. And we like to go visit that place. But a lot of the places, like this last, so when we went to Monterey, we wanted to stop for lunch. And we were like, ooh, let's go to this old, you know, Vietnamese place we used to go all the time as a family when we were kids and, like, super excited to go. They knocked down the plaza (gasps) and turned it into a Mercedes dealership. (gasps) Yeah. Because I was like, because I... Disrespect. I vividly remember where it is because, it's like, it's next to the Safeway. It's in Daly City. And then when we go there, I was like, I'm pretty sure it's here. Isn't it right here? And then we, like, we even did, like, a huge, like, we circled, like, twice. And we're like, yeah, it's that Mercedes dealership. It's gone. It's gone. So we didn't get to eat there. God, that sounds amazing right now. I love Vietnamese food. I'm kind of hungry. (laughs) Koba. Koba in Seattle. Good. So good. Uh, A little more modern. Uh, I think a millennial definitely owns that company or that restaurant. (laughs) But it was really good. It's got right. millennial written all yeah, over yeah. it. It's like all like high school hits too, the entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember <laughs> you telling me that. But okay, anyway, so you went for child like a more like going back home. Yeah, visiting family. Mm-hmm. 
how was like because you you didn't stay in Seattle you eventually went to like your hometown and all that how's that yeah so my friend childhood bestie she lived in Seattle proper at the time um and lived in just the most darling little neighborhood um and so we stayed there I flew in Thursday Thursday yeah. Uh, Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, that's right. So Friday we drew, drew, drove up to Seattle, <laughs> or I mean, we drove up to Bellingham, which is like two hours north of Seattle, um, about like 30 minutes south of the Canadian border. Um, and we, what did we do? We visited her nephews. We took them to the same beach where we used to go as kids. And I literally felt like I was, like, eight years old again. It was such a trip. Like, it just, everything was just the same. And um, it was so much fun. And it was just amazing to be there again. Um, And just seeing all the places, like, the docks that we used to jump off of. Mm -hmm. um, The boat yard that we used to, you know, not break into, but, like, run across my old house that my childhood home um that was very looked very different yeah but um the big hill that we used to sled down and and ride our bikes down the big scary hill um the neighborhood it was just absolutely magical and it was like untouched right like everything looked like just the same yeah yeah for the most part yeah when we did our little recap when i picked you up i was telling bailey how jealous I kind of am because I'm really jealous of people who have a hometown or have like a you know their childhood place like like Brandon's from here and Mm -hmm. he can tell you all the different places like growing up that like you know childhood places the different parks different things that him and his friends did growing up and like um my brother and I like my family we moved almost every year from like elementary school up until like high school i think Mm -hmm. i think high school is the longest we've ever stayed in one place because elementary school i'm pretty sure yeah we went to a different school every grade Mm -hmm. so we were always the new kids so we've never like established like our hometown necessarily yeah like it was I guess you could say the Bay Area and, like, Monterey is our hometown, but we moved, like, in so many different cities within that those counties that, like, mm-hmm. there's not one particular place. So, yeah. like, when you were talking about it, I was like, oh, I wish I had that. <laughs> or, like, I wish I could go back to somewhere and have that same, like, nostalgic feeling, you know? It is very, very special. Mm-hmm. I wish you had that, too. You know? I mean, I guess Sacramento is. This is the longest I've ever say, lived yeah. anywhere. So Sacramento I guess you could say home. that. Yeah. Sacramento is definitely home. You know Sacramento like the back of your hand. Oh, yeah. Although I did not know 50 was on uh, uh, doing the split thing because I never drive anymore since I work from home now. Yeah. And like I needed to go on I-5, but they did the split. And you can't. Yeah. And I was like, what the oh. fuck, dude? Like, what? And they is tell the you so point? late, too. Yeah. Like, so late. Like, how am I, how do you know that? It must split to get out to West Sac. Yeah. Like, who's going to West Sac? Dude, what the fuck? I know. I'm like, what is the point of this? You're just, you're trapped in there. I, I can't do it. I get like fucking claustrophobic, and I'm not that type of person mm-hmm. where I get claustrophobic easily, but that shit freaks me out. What if you blow a tire? Yeah. What Plus, everyone's going super fast. Super fast. Because they know they can. Yeah, you can't get pulled over. Yeah. There's I no mean, way. I guess you could. They could get you at the end, but. Yeah. Where, wherever the end is. Yeah, because it's so long. They're going to follow you the It whole just, time. like, takes you to, like, the ocean. <laughs> could you imagine? What oh if you God. run out of gas? Yeah. What if you your suck? engine catches fire? I don't know anything. I don't I, I mean, it hasn't happened, but still. It's not crazy. It, like, things have happened. It just, like, impossible. pissed me off, though. I was like, what? <laughs> when is 50 going to be done? Never. I feel like it's been, like, ever since You've we were here. kids. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just been never. Under construction. Yeah. It's absolutely bizarre. And I'm like, when When are. Also, when are they going to fix the whole 50, 99, I5, whatever merge? 
So scary. I'm surprised that we don't get more car accidents. I think Sacramento is up there for car accidents. I've seen it on yeah, the list. Yeah, we're like one of the worst cities for car accidents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, because your roads suck. <laughs> um, let's see. I should have wrote down questions. I didn't come prepared. I apologize. No, it's okay. Um, what was your favorite place that you ate? Favorite place that I ate? Well, what are all the places that you ate? And then what was your favorite? Okay. So I did a Bailey thing. Um, so I got this idea from Bailey when, cause she does this for Disneyland <laughs> where she would like journal down what we did. F- only Disneyland though. Right. You only, yeah. you don't do that for any of your other trips. No. Okay. So she does her like daily thing of like what we ate, where we went, what r- rides we rode, stuff like that. So I did the same thing for Seattle and did like what we ate, where we went, all that stuff. And so restaurant wise, so Dahlia or Dahlia or Dahlia, whatever you want to call it. I think it's Dahlia. D-A-H-L-I-A. Yeah, sounds about right. Okay. We had breakfast there like every morning. It was so good. They're known for their mochi donuts, but honestly, their mochi donuts are okay. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever had a mochi donut, but that sounds bomb. I like the, uh, there's different. So, okay. So the mochi donut I thought they are going to do was the one I'm used to, which is like, they look like bubbles, Mm -hmm. but theirs look like regular donuts Mm -hmm. and they don't taste like the mochi donuts I'm used to. Hmm. And I was a little disappointed. They were good, but I wouldn't get it again because I was really hoping for the other kind of mochi donut. The one that everyone knows, you know? Yeah. But they're like breakfast sandwiches and their faucet and like all their different breads and bakery or baked goods mm-hmm. were amazing. Mm-hmm. So good. Like the garlic Asiago something. I didn't even write that down. Did I write it down? Asiago garlic and herb. Mm. Is that so like a bagel good. or a sandwich? So a faucet, it's like this round. It's like a, it's like a facacia, 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 facacia. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know big goods. Well, I, I don't see know, it and it I looks good. I don't know what a fashant is or whatever you said. F- facet. Well, that's yeah. what it said on there. It was a facet. Here, let me look up what's a facet. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Dimple. It means dimple. In French? Yeah. Soft, round, and flat bun with a hint of virgin olive oil. Oh, and then it has a bunch of other stuff on it. Absolutely incredible. So good. And there's like a peanut stir fry bun that they made too. And that was really good. But definitely favorite breakfast place. And then we did do like the Pink Door, Elliot's Oysters. You had oysters? Yeah. Ew. The loogies of the sea. I know. You Have don't you ever like had oyster. them before? Mm-hmm. Yuck. I love oysters. Oh. I um but it's, it was like really fancy and they're like, what kind of oysters do you like? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like I just eat whatever oysters my family makes. Mm-hmm. And he, they were like he's like these are from the North Bay and these are from the mid bay and I'll get you ones from the South Bay. <laughs> and so then, Seattle. Yeah. Well, I guess there's like different parts and like depending on what part of the bay they taste different. Mm. And I'm like, you know, I was like eating it and I'm like, yeah, they're a little different, but I'm like, I'll eat all of it. <laughs> it's not different enough for me to be like, I only want North Bay oysters, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I'm like, oysters are oysters. Just give me some like Tabasco and lemon. Um, what else did I eat? Seattleites are picky about their seafood and their coffee. Yeah, I didn't have any coffee though, because I don't drink coffee. Oh, I could go for some coffee right now. Decaf. Really? Oh, that sounds mean. Decaf. It's just because it's so late. Oh, in the day. Yeah. yeah. What's the the one I really liked that was Dozone, and it was like you know all like dim sum, mm. so like dumplings and noodles and all kinds of like buns. That was my favorite. Mm. It was so good. We need to go get go there. I want some dim sum. And Koba. But I'm also just a sucker for Asian food, so that's why I'm picking Dozo and Koba. <laughs> and the other stuff are good. We had, like, Italian food, and we went to, like, Kel's Irish 
pub, you know, Mm -hmm. your usual pub food. Um, Did you have any sushi? No. Interesting. I know. I don't know why we didn't go get sushi. I think we were like, oh, we were looking at like top rated restaurants. Mm. And that's what we tried to. And mm -hmm. but honestly, like. Like Dozone and like Hobo, like I found those not from like the top tier list. Like I was just looking up stuff Mm. and I've realized like the stuff that we just look for, like Dahlia, for example, wasn't like on one of those top tier lists. Like I liked those more convenient. Yeah. Yeah. And I just liked them better than the ones that were like on the top five or top 10 list or something. Mm -hmm. Because like Dozone, that one I found off of that subreddit that you sent me. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I should have just done this. I love you know? Reddit. Because they're real actual locals. from real people. Yeah, yeah, they're real locals who actually, that's it's not I, like That's a, how I found Crab Cake Benedict. Yeah. A what? Crab, or Crab Cake Egg Benedict. That's my favorite breakfast of all time. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, but my favorite parts, I think, had to be like. The Chihuly Garden. Oh, gosh. So beautiful. Absolutely breathtaking. breathtaking. <gasps> How did you know I was going to say that? I don't know, because I was just going to say that. Oh, it, like, in awe. Uh, yes. I loved it. Like, and the space needle is right there. Mm-hmm. It just so pretty. They just complement each other, you yes. know? It's so beautiful. And I've wanted to go since high school when I did Glass Art and we mm. watched that documentary. So cool. Oh, my God. I was like, I have to see it. I have to see it. If we're not going to do anything else that I want to do, we have <laughs> to at least see this. And then the other one was the Museum of Pop Culture, Mopop. Mm-hmm. So cool. Did you go to did you go to that? never been? I've <gasps> okay. always wanted to go to Mopop. If you and I no, when you and I go on a trip, mm-hmm. we have to go because we didn't realize when we went they're about to close and we just rushed through everything. Well yeah, we'll go. And then Lily she went again with her friend because she wanted to go. Mm-hmm. And she was like, We missed the completely like other exhibit and i was like no because it was like the fantasy exhibit that's the one we missed and it had a bunch of like harry potter stuff and i was like no oh, i can't believe love that. harry potter i'm gonna watch harry potter i know we rewatched the first two recently nice and i know there's that new one that came out but i haven't seen that yet i have no idea um but yeah those two for sure space needle I mean, it's cool. It's cool to just say that you went up there. Yeah. Wouldn't do it again. Expensive as fuck. And I definitely unlocked a new fear I didn't know I had. (laughs) So weird. So the second... So when you get up there, there's like first, second, third level. (laughs) So the first level is just like, you know, the views of everything. Second level is where you pee and poop. And then the third level... (laughs) Or, like, the bottom level. They have the glass floor. And Lily just walked on it like nothing. And I don't know what happened. Because I've never been afraid of heights. I love roller coasters. You know, I've done the whole, like, uh, zip lining and stuff like that. But I my legs locked up. Like, I could not step on the glass. And it took me a while. And then I did one foot first. Then I did both feet. And then I stepped back. And then I started walking on it, but not looking down. And then eventually, like, I got a little bit better. But that was, like, the weirdest feeling I've ever had. I didn't even know how to explain it. Like, I just, like, had this weird fear, like, come over me. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Have you done that one? Or have you done the glass floor? Mm -hmm. Did you get scared? No. Oh. Okay. People were laying down on the floor. Ew. What the fuck Because it takes pictures, you know? What is wrong with people? And I'm like, like truly, oh. can somebody please slide in the DMs and explain to me, like, what? Because they're trying to get a cool, like, you know, Instagram picture. I It absolutely blows my mind how much social media has changed the world. For reals. And it's kind of weird. It, like, shows you how many dumbasses there are who just, for the gram. Mm-hmm. Or the TikTok. But it was just, like, it just grossed me out because, like, you know, they're, like, this one chick was, like, trying to, you know, spray, like, not spray. What am I saying? Spread. Spread her hair hair to make it look kind of cool. And I'm just, like, 
gross. Your hair is like rubbing against all this nasty uh, like, like people walking outside. Yeah, like these people could be the could have walked on pee. Yeah, yeah feces. Exactly. Yeah, and now your hair is covered with it, and now you got to spend the whole day with your feces covered hair. Exactly. Like, Disgusting. What? Yeah. What? Cause it's not like you have booties on, or they make you, you know, clean your shoes before you get there. Uh, yeah. So I was like, "This is nasty." Uh huh. That like, is hell stop. nasty. <sighs> People don't. Understand. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it. Like I don't. I don't know. Weird. Okay. Whatever. Yeah. But and like um, so we did do the hot tub boat thing. I'm so jealous, boat rental. Dude. So jealous you got to do that. The thing I didn't like we should, though. We do that. Yeah. But we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do. It. What's um, the thing you didn't like? So I think because people are so like, "Ooh, what's that?" You know, like, "Ooh, a hot tub boat." <laughs> like everyone on the Lake Union were like videotaping us or taking pictures or whatever because it's like what? a it's a hot tub boat yeah and they would like wave at us and they would record us and i'm like great so how many videos and cam like pictures am i in now and like <laughs> strangers phones and i'm like i hate this you're I a celebrity hate, i hate being a center of attention already I and then too. these are strangers and now i'm like forever memorialized in their camera like in their phone it's just weird and like they're waving too and smiling and stuff and i'm like waving back because i don't want to be a bitch (laughs) um i was like please stop you know there's somebody out there who got you in in the frame oh yeah oh yeah who's whacking it oh i was not thinking that but okay Jeez. Um, so wait, isn't there a different? Because there, you told me about like the smoke. Oh, okay, yeah. There's two different it's like ones. A wood, wood burning stove. So the one I thought we were getting, and I think what she thought we were getting, was kind of like the cool one. That's like, it's el- electronic, and it's like, um, I think you control it with like a a, a controller hmm, or something. And there's, like, a little, like, wooden part where you can, like, lay out and kind of just, like, you know, soak up the sun. So that's the nice one. It has, like, little storage spaces for your stuff to keep them from getting wet. So we did not get that one. Is that is it, like, a totally different company? Yeah, it's totally oh. different. Because we actually went there first. And they're like, yeah, not this one. You're the other one. And we're like, well, oh, shit. Well, now we know. Yeah, for real. Now we know. Um, so ow. the one we got... Is they utilize wood to warm up the hot tub. So a fire, a wood burning stove, which requires obviously like a, what are they, I don't know, a smokestack. Is that what it's called? Chimney? Chimney. Whatever. So the annoying part though is that depending on how you're angled, the smoke is just like getting in your eyes, you know? <laughs> Dude, smoke in the eyes, that's painful. Yeah, and at one point, Lily was like, Melissa, please or take control of the boat. Like, I can't see right now. Her <laughs> eyes are just watering, and she has to, like, get down to, like, inside it. <laughs> She's like, can't take control of the boat. <laughs> I mean, you just have to turn the boat the other direction, and then the smoke will blow. Like, yeah, but we were trying to go a certain direction. Oh, uh... And, but the smoke was, like, getting in our face. And at some point, we just, like, kind of just chilled at one spa that we liked and just turned the boat so that it's, you know. Yeah. Um, what did you think of all the houseboats? They're pretty cool. Right? So I bet, cool. I bet, though, that they hate these hot tub boats. <laughs> you I'm know? sure they hate all the boaters in general. Because <laughs> very few people know, like, how to, like, what... I guess like the manners you would say, yeah, like the rules of being know. on the water, like not going too fast to create a wake, you know that type of thing. Because our boat, so the difference to the two companies, the other one, the one that we thought we were getting, is a five miles per hour boat, but the one we get is three miles per hour. I, I mean, how does that does that make that really that big a difference? I think so because we were going so oh we were going so so slow and at one point um it just stopped working. <laughs> like it needed a break. Ah. 
Like it literally just needed a break because we just stopped it for a while and then it started going again. But at some point, I don't know what happened or I think we just weren't paying attention, but a bigger boat was coming towards us. Uh And these guys look like fishermen or something, like not tourists at all. And and they're like, look at these bitches in their hot tub boats in the way. And we were trying to go as fast as we could. And they even honked at us. Oh, um, shit. yeah. And really Lily, pissed him off. And Lily's like, I don't I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We're going as <laughs> fast like as we can. Her arms. That's so we're funny. like and they, because they're just dudes like what they're like, you know, like what fresh men wear, those jumper suits, you know what I'm talking about? Like mm-hmm. the Yeah, their overalls, but they're waterproof overalls. Yeah. And they're just like standing there in their boats, just doing this. And I'm just like <laughs> shaking their head. At they're you. pissed. They're like, get these tourists out. They're probably so mad it's summertime. Yeah. And everyone's out sure. about. Because there was a lot of people doing the hot tub boat mm-hmm. rental. And a lot of people doing like just random boat rentals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because you know who they are. Because they have the giant like flag or like advertisement like, yeah. rent me, you know. And that's a rent number. me, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the pirate ship? There's a pirate ship? Yeah. No, I don't I'll show you a video. Okay. No, we did see the, like, the planes. Yeah. You know, that would land. Those are pretty cool. You saw them land on the water? Yeah. Yeah. And they would, like, drive by us, or drive by us, fly by us. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. Super cool. I love it. <laughs> definitely an interesting uh, experience, and we definitely smelled like smoke afterwards. <laughs> And our eyes were definitely burning. Oh, well, <laughs> when we go, we'll get the electric. Yeah. I would be willing to splurge on that because I know it's expensive. And we we brought food and they also like supply you with like the waterproof, you know, phone case and like a, um, what's it called? A USB speaker. Oh, shit. But the thing is, <laughs> so... The water, so you get the waterproof phone case, which is like the lanyard, you know. Mm-hmm. But the when our phones would go underwater, and I have an Android and she has an iPhone because I tried mine first and then I had her try. Mm-hmm. But when your phone is underwater, I guess it can't read the Bluetooth speaker. <laughs> so like every time it's bobbing, you know, you know like it it'll like go out. off. Yeah, I was like, oh, good to know that water cuts that off. You're like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to like leave it out somehow. But anyways, yeah. What a cool, cool, cool experience. I'm so jelly. <laughs> I definitely got sunburnt. Sun in Seattle is different. Yeah, you're, you're <laughs> like, slightly closer to the sun. Is that how that works? I don't know. <laughs> no, because it's off no, the equator. Yeah. I was like, wait, <laughs> the tropical <laughs> places. Okay. <laughs> that was my trip. It was fun. I definitely enjoyed it. Also, Lily's a lot like you, which I've come to realize. You have very similar friends. I mean, yeah, because you, Brandon, Lily, pretty much are you're very similar. Mm-hmm. Similar in humor. Also like to mess with me a lot. Like during <laughs> the... God, I wanted to punch her in the face. <laughs> but like during the... Um, the part in like the the space needle where like I was getting scared, she was jumping, <gasps> and then she was just walking. She's like, "Ooh, I hear I hear a crack," and I'm like, "Bitch, you better stop." Oh, but she was just joking. That's funny. Yeah, definitely would have done the same exact. Thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, okay. This is grandma. These poor grandkids. But she was just like, go, go, go. And so, like, there's these little tablets all around the Space Needle now, I guess, mm-hmm. that you can, like, take pictures. And um, Lily and I were taking pictures, and we were trying to figure it out. And the lady's like, I think it's starting now. Like, the grandma. And we're like, oh, yeah, it's starting now. And then we were, like, taking her picture. And she's like, okay, it took it. It's good. <gasps> <I don't- gasps> yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. The audacity. I know. And I was like, okay, bye. And you said that? Yeah. And because I was like, that's so rude. Yeah. Oh, that's extremely rude. I would have popped off. And then she 
Um, cause she, I think it's her, her husband and like her grandkids, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. And they're like, okay, okay, everyone get in the picture. Hurry up, hurry up. You know, like telling her grandkids to get in the picture. And she's like, okay, we're going to take the picture now, you know? And then like the worst person ever to go on vacation with. Oh my God. I was like, (laughs) these poor children, cause they just want to enjoy their time. They're just being, you know, kids. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, so there's a line to go back downstairs, right? Or go back down. And. Guess who is in line with us? The grandma. <laughs> with their grandkids. And then, you know, they start filling up the uh, elevator. I was like, oh, you know, like it's getting pretty full. So maybe they won't make it. And then so they're like, um, so the guy's like, oh, how many are your party? And it was too big. And so he goes to the grandma like, oh, how many are your party? And she's like, four. And he's like, oh, great. You guys have fit right in. And I was like, God damn it. Are you serious? Yeah, they pack you in there like goddamn yeah. sardines. And then, um, and so, like, what's the kiss? She's like, okay, hurry up, hurry up, get inside, get inside. <laughs> All right, we're going to go down. Keep your, you know, move your feet. And I was like, God, you're fun. You're She's a ray a of sunshine. like, micromanager. Yeah. Goddamn nightmare is what it sounds like. And the poor, like, grandpa, too. We got <laughs> stuck behind him. He's just there miserably. Yeah. Because you have to still go down a flight of stairs to get to, like, you yeah. know, yeah. the gift shop. And he was just going so slow. Just absolutely slow. And this grandma's just, like, Probably trying to corral the kids. Pain. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, take take your time. I would I would take my time away from her, too. Because she just, like, rushed down the stairs. They're like, bitch, bye. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wait up. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy just following her around. Uh. Oh, you know what we should do? We should take a drive by um, the house that Chris Cobain. Oh, died Kurt, in. Kurt Cobain. What did I say? Chris. <laughs> yeah, Kurt Cobain. <laughs> My bad. Did I tell you about the reel it in guy? Mm-mm. Okay, so we were at um, Elliot's Oyster Restaurant. Oh, oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, oh tell it, tell it, okay. tell it. So this guy, okay. So the way, like, Lily and I are sitting is that we're facing the water and other tables. It was, like, the perfect, like, people watching setup. And there's, like, two couples. I think they're, like, on a double date or something. And the lady, um, she they're probably our age, you know, maybe in their 30s. Yeah. And she was just, like, you know, a little tipsy, having fun, telling her stories to her friends and just, like, having a time. And the guy squeezes her shoulder and says, reel it in. Can you believe that? No. That's so been, rude. Would you have dumped him? Yeah, like that's because she's at least from my perspective, I didn't think she was doing anything wrong. She wasn't loud. She wasn't like outrageous. Nothing like, you know, what a dick, dude. That's some small dick energy, right? Yeah, like straight up. And then he's like shaking his head, puffing his lip, you know, his mouth, like, you know, like shaking his head. And then at some point she's I think she just kept drinking, but to me, like, I thought she was fine. She seemed fine. She was just having fun. Yeah. And then he squeezes even harder. And, like, I'm not... I'm just getting this from Lily because she's facing them, but I'm she's not facing... The, yeah. It, they're in her line of sight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. then I would have been, like, you know, looking like... <laughs> <laughs> me too. I would have purposely changed seats so, like, we're boasting on the same yeah. side of the table, just, like, one, one side. side of the table. <laughs> <laughs> so obvious. And then he, like, squeezes it harder to the point where she's like, ow. <gasps> yeah. Dude. Dump his ass. And if I'm you're like, listening to this, homegirl, dump his ass. I know. So rude. And, like, she's just having fun and, like. What a joy stepper. Right? You know, just step on people's joy. Just, like, a fun killer. Joy kill. Yeah. Joy, no, it's kill joy. Oh, kill joy? Yeah. Yeah, it is kill joy. Yeah, because my nephew's um, initials is KJ, and uh, they used to call him Killjoy. Oh, that's my mom's initials. Weird. Uh-huh. Anyway, so, and then at some point, so the, you know, we get our food, and it seems like things are okay. And then, um, so it's their table. 
another table was like um, just a lady eating by herself. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I would totally do that. She bought, she got a lot of food. She's a little tiny little Asian lady and she ordered a ton of food. Nice. Yeah. And then, so it's her. She's living her best life. I know. And then it's her. And then another table was two gentlemen and they were watching, or no, one of the guys was showing the other guy a video on his phone. Mm-hmm. Didn't even notice it. Didn't think it was loud. Nothing. And the guy, the reel it in guy, goes, excuse me, <laughs> gentlemen, excuse me, fellas, can you please uh, turn that off? It's distracting. Like, he's yelling across, you know, ta- yeah. a table, like two tables over. Oh and everyone just kind of, like, stops eating a little bit and looks over. The drama. But it's like, what's happening? Like, why is he yelling <laughs> at them? Exactly, yeah. And I'm like, the audacity. Like, you're embarrassing yourself. You're so worried yeah. about your girl, but you are embarrassing yourself. Mm-hmm. I was like, I can't. That's exactly right. <sighs> so rude. Okay. Like, mind your own business. This is why I say I hate people. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know this is not all people, but, like, it doesn't have to a be A lot of people. people. Like, even the people. Yeah. And we were no just. Well, and I were just enjoying the view. <laughs> <laughs> There's, like, the great. Uh, Dinner and the show, baby. Yeah, for reals, you know. I was like, what is happening? Like, I didn't even notice they were playing a video, honestly. <laughs> I didn't even notice. And we're closer to them than he is. Because they're right across from us. Love it. <sighs> the audacity of this, those guys. And then, of course, in good old Lily fashion, we walk by. Um, but we'll, well, before we walk by, because I'm not a confrontational person, because I, I, I've met a lot of crazy people, and you don't know what they're going to do, yeah. and whatever, so I'm always very cautious about not starting anything, and I also don't like being <laughs> center of attention. Can't relate. And then, <laughs> and then Melissa's like, Melissa, should I say reel it in when we walk by? Yes, yes, she and said. And then, I'm like, no, <laughs> but I know Lily. <laughs> She's going to do it anyway, so it doesn't matter what I say, because mm-hmm. I'm like, I wouldn't, but you know. You can. <laughs> That's exactly what you would say to me. <laughs> and we walk by. And she really loudly says, loudly says, reel it in. <laughs> Love it. And I think I faintly heard him say, like, what? You know? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Hilarious. Like, oh, God. That's so good. <laughs> reel it in, guy. Reel it in. Why is he so miserable? I don't you know. know. I thought she was having the time of her life. She was like drinking drink wine. Fellas, fellas, can you keep it down over there? Like, what? She like he literally bitch. told them to turn off their video, or I think that's what he said. Like, turn off the video, or can you stop playing that video, or something like that? I would have told him to shut the fuck up, like straight up. Those poor guys. Jeez, I can't. I would never say that to anybody. You know, I would never no. ruin someone else's dinner, mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. Like, and it wasn't like a cheap place either because it's seafood, too. You know, <laughs> yeah. and then you have this dude just like, fellas, fellas. I know. Anyways, that was my trip. <laughs> Very touristy. Yeah. Did all the touristy stuff. When we go, though, I'd love to see Bellingham. Oh, I'd love to take you. You would just love it. It's this cute little, like, it is a college town, Mm -hmm. but it doesn't, like, really have that vibe. It's kind of like this, like, smaller, small town vibe, you know, and it's just, um, it's quaint. Yeah. 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 It's really, really beautiful. I do like the small town kind of lifestyle. Like the. Me too. Because before we moved to Sacramento, we did come from a small town Mm -hmm. and everyone knew each other. No one locked their doors. Like kids literally would come in and out of the house. (laughs) Like and we would like ride our bikes everywhere. And like there's only one strip like of street where that's like all the shopping stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was it. And there's only one middle school, one elementary school and one high school. Yeah very small town Mm -hmm. and we like walked to each other's houses yeah Mm -hmm. it's exactly how it was where i grew up too 
It's very, um, like, community-based, yeah. too. So, um, I grew up on a Lummi reservation, um, and it that's right next to this little town, which is even smaller than Bellingham, called Ferndale, and that's where I went to elementary school before I moved to California when I was 10. And then Bellingham, that's where, like... The grocery store is and, you know, the, I mean, Ferndale technically has a post office, but Mm -hmm. it's the, you know, the bigger town. It's bigger than Ferndale. It's where you like run your errands and stuff. Yeah. Type of thing. And my dad didn't work. My mom was the breadwinner. So my dad was a stay at home dad and he totally took care of me and my sister and my brother. And so I was just like, I, like I was driving through Bellingham and I was like, I remember going there with my dad Aww. and I remember running errands with him. And there's my old Irish dance studio. The first. Is this still I there? Part of, I, oh. Actually, I think it is. I looked on her website. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah. It was absolutely incredible. And, um, yeah. it looks beautiful. Yeah. Like the picture she showed me. Yeah. Mount Baker is right next to Bellingham and which is prime for sledding and snowing and ski or snowing sledding, <laughs> skiing and snowboarding. <laughs> so, oh, so you grew up like with like snow, like winter, no winter, winter snow. Yeah. Yeah. We had proper winter there. I mean, at least one day every winter the school would be closed. That's cool. Yeah. You had an actual snow day. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty I remember awesome. One time it, so like our front yard um, was fenced, mm-hmm. but the fence was like super tall. It was like probably like five feet tall at least, maybe five and a half feet. Mm-hmm. And um, I remember it snowed so much that you could just barely see the top of the fence. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and that's not normal. It doesn't yeah. smell like and like we opened the front door and there was just like a wall of snow and like my sister and I like like dig you know dug our way out. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I love the snow. Me too. But yeah, it's a really, really cool place. Ten out of ten recommend. And you know what I really recommend? is t- maybe this is what we can do. Take the Amtrak from Seattle to Bellingham because it okay. goes right on the water. Um, it's like an hour ride, mm-hmm. hour long ride. It's super cheap too. It's like 20 bucks or something like that. That's um, pretty good. Yeah. And it goes, and you, I just like to chill in the observation car, you know, that has like the windows all around. Yeah. Just gorgeous. You've actually rode the Amtrak from Seattle to Bellingham. Yeah. Oh, plenty of times. Yeah. Um, so much fun. I love taking the train. I mean, we talked about that to go to Disneyland too, because it's so nice to not have to worry about driving or getting gas or stopping or like your car breaking down. Yeah. Like it's all taken care of. You're not stuck in traffic because you never know if there's going to be traffic or if there's not going to be traffic or if there's an accident and then you're just stuck. Like when we drove, you know, for a Christmas like there is an there was a couple of accidents and it just made our trip from six hours to like nine ten hours. Yeah, dude. Like it's awful. Yeah. But Amtrak, you know, it's just straight shot mm-hmm. down there. Yeah, pretty much. I'd be down as fuck to take it. And the Amtrak station mm-hmm. in Anaheim, it's like a couple blocks away from Disney. So. That's nice. Maybe we wouldn't we wouldn't even need to get a rental car if we got a hotel close enough. Yeah. You know, wouldn't uh, that be nice? Yeah. I mean, honestly, in Seattle, we didn't rent a car either because it's, you know, we weren't sure if we really needed to. And like we took the monor was it the monorail? Mm-hmm. So it's called the monorail. We did the scooters. We took Lyft and it was like perfectly fine without renting a car. Plus, it would be a bitch to like try to park, park everywhere. Parking is super expensive. And I plus, mean, I don't know where I'm city, going. Yeah. Totally. Um, what was it like scootering? I've always wanted to try that. You never done it? No, I haven't. Oh well, 
I mean, it's fun. I like doing it. I did it here downtown. I mean, they're everywhere now. Yeah, yeah. My coworker literally, he does the, or my old coworker, he doesn't have a, or he didn't have a car and he would do like the bikes from his place to work. Yeah. Because he lived downtown. Yeah. And they're a lot of fun. Yeah. It is kind of scary though. I mean, Sacramento, I think it's a lot easier and better because we're not really a touristy place and there's not a whole lot of people here yeah but i feel like if you were gonna do that like in san francisco or like la it might be pretty scary because wow. seattle it wasn't too bad because not it's not a lot of people because we did the week during oh, the week it's scary because it's like crowded yeah it's there's cars people. everywhere and like seattle's nice though because they have like designated by bi- um bike lanes yeah and they have the little bike lights like the stop lights yeah. too and they're so cute they have the little bike um light or the picture of the bikes of gold in their light and i was like oh this is good that's a good idea and um it's funny that you bring up the bike lanes because um <laughs> my friend and i would just be like walking down the street in seattle and i'd like step off the curb and she'd be like you're in the bike lane <laughs> you can't walk in the bike lane I'm yeah like, oh, okay sorry i didn't know it was that serious but it is it's like a main form of transportation for a lot of people who live yeah there, which is insane because seattle is very hilly lots of hills yeah like i'm so glad that they have electronic scooters because i'm like watching people with their bikes go up this these hills nuts i'm like no thank you yeah no No, thanks immediately no hard pass yeah i mean it's not nearly as bad like san francisco i would never i don't even think you could get an electric scooter up one of those san francisco hills Uh, no no i could barely get my car up those hills yeah (laughs) that's like a whole ass car that's like meant to drive and stuff it's funny because so the scooter has this giant sign that says do not scooter on sidewalk but like yeah where but like everyone scooter? literally i guess you're supposed to go on the street where the cars are or like the bike lanes well some places you know not everywhere has bike lanes yeah, yeah. so the parts that don't have bike lanes we did go on the sidewalk because i'm like i'm not going on the street yeah i mean did you have to wear a helmet <laughs> you because you've never done it so on the app you have to take like a quiz you know like a test and i th- I think it's for liability reasons but you are supposed to say like, like are you supposed to wear a head like a helmet and then i just pick yes and then that's the end of the quiz you know there's like yes five, but i'm not five questions to. and they have like giant stickers like you know must wear a helmet but like literally no like who just brings a helmet with them like who's okay. just carrying a helmet with them and like Ew, and sharing a helmet with strangers that yeah like, like that's not happening. happening i'm not doing that um, so yes you're supposed to legally but no no one does and the infamous words of share horowitz whatever <laughs> exactly like no one like who's gonna do that no one's gonna do it no one does um it. you know one thing i think you actually would find interesting is the museum of I think it's called Mohai. Mohai? Yeah. Is that in Seattle? Or yeah, is it? it's okay. Museum of Something Something. Um, right. <laughs> hold on. I'm sorry. Let me look it up. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Museum mm-hmm. of History and Industry. Mohai. Oh, okay. Super cool. Learn all about Seattle and how it was formed and built and, um, you know, Seattle through the different eras and the different decades, you know, World War II yeah. and one and, um, you know, the 50s, the yeah. 60s, the industrial stuff and it's just really cool really cool history and it's right on the water so you'll see lots of boats and yeah um sometimes they have these really super cool like all wooden older boats that they'll Mm -hmm. let you like walk on and tour you know that's cool come aboard i should say not walk on (laughs) cringe i love museums absolutely love museums and you know it'd be so fun what if we like did a day charter on a sailboat it's like 60 bucks per person that's cheaper than the hot tub yeah wouldn't that be fun yeah i want to do actually go to the puget sound and stuff i want to um we didn't get to do what's that one that with the boats oh the locks yeah very cool we didn't get to do that either 
Oh, and there's you know, just so much to do. You know, there you is. can't fit it all in one trip. Um, the locks are super cool because, like, the entrance you have to walk for, through this like beautiful garden. Yeah, it's just so pretty and it's like so serene and tranquil and peaceful. And then you get to see the locks, which are super cool. Should I explain it? Yeah. So there's different water levels. The sea is a different water level than like the bay that comes into Lake Union. That's off of Lake Union. There's like a channel um, where different boats enter and stuff. So since they're different water levels, you have to make them, you know, you have to raise the water level from the ocean up to the bay, right? Or not Mm -hmm. the bay, but the channel, I guess I think is what it's called. So basically like, um, a bunch of, you know, like three or two, depending on how much they can fit, maybe four boats will come into, um, one side of the lock. There's like two stalls will come into one side of the lock and they'll tie together and then they'll tie onto like the lock, like the wall. Um, what are you doing? It's dark. Oh, okay. Um, and then they'll raise the water in the stall to meet. So that they can. Yeah. And yeah, then they open up over. The, the gates and then you can go. And then, and then vice versa. You come in from the channel. You got to lower the water and get out to the ocean. It's super cool. I've been through it a few times on the on a sailboat and it was just like. Oh, you've amazing. actually like sailed through it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. And it's cool because like. Like, with boating, like, you have to be super fast. And, like, because it's dangerous, Mm -hmm. you know, if you don't act fast. Not a hot time boat. (laughs) Yeah. Five miles per hour. Like, well, what I mean is, like, like you need to act fast to, like, tie your lines off to the dock or, you know, in this case, the wall of the lock. Um, Yeah. And it it was just cool to see all these people work together. And, you know, you could tell who's more experienced boater because when the people I went through were my aunt and uncle and they lived aboard a sailboat for like 30 years. So yeah. obviously they know what they're so doing. So they're like on top of it. And like my uncle's like a certified licensed captain. You know, he's done all of his courses and everything. Um, so he's also a yacht salesman. So that's just like his whole Oh, is life. he really? Yeah. That's cool. Um, he like travels to Croatia and like goes to like boat shows. Like, like sells- below deck? Cro- um, like Yes, ma'am. And no like way. he sells like million dollar yachts. Does he know Captain Glenn? Maybe. <laughs> or Captain Sandy. Sell, sold them a yacht. Maybe, yeah. That's cool. Um and and so when you're in the locks, you just have to work really fast to like tie your lines off together. And like the more experienced boaters will like yell to the other people, like, do this, do that kind of thing. Oh, help them out. hmm mm-hmm. And um yeah. But it, and like, I obviously have to be out of the way. So I'm just like sitting like out of the way, like crisscross applesauce, just like taking it all in and like watching it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I, for, I always forget that um, they have a houseboat or sailboat. Sailboat. Yeah. 50 foot schooner. I want to say two masts. Mm-hmm. Do they still live on the boat? Um, I think so. I haven't talked to them in a while, but. Yeah. How's it like? Because you used to spend like, um, was it like like your summer there, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Usually I'd visit like once or twice a year. Is it weird? Like, because you get motion sickness easily. Not on boats. That's weird. I don't get seasick at all, but driving and flying in a plane, yeah, I do. I do. Well, I, actually, I didn't when I flew in the plane. This time, but I will get motion sickness in the car for sure. From the if I'm the passenger. Oh, okay. Yeah, like when we were driving home from In and Out. Yeah. That's like not even fifteen that minutes. Far. Yeah. That. And I was just that like, gave you motion sickness. Uh huh. I was like, oh, I don't feel. Good. Literally, like two turns. You know. No, literally. Yeah. Like yeah. Dang. <laughs> no. well, that's a lot. That's weird. I don't think I've dealt with motion sickness before. So weird to me. Do you just feel like feel nauseous? Mm-hmm. Queasy. 
Mm. Like whatever's in your stomach wants to come up. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a great feeling. Okay. That's why you drive. Yes. <laughs> yes. We need to handle your air conditioner situation. Do you Girl, think it's cheap? No. No. Have you already looked at dollars. it? A thousand dollars to fix the AC and new oh compressor. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. I thought I was just like you know recharging it or something. No, no, no. I tried. Oh, it's, they gotta fill like actually fix the entire. The, it needs a new thing. compressor. Oh, yeah. That's a bummer. It doesn't really bother me, honestly. Oh, you're not me. <laughs> god, I, I was sweating I mean, so much. It's bad. Oh, when I picked you up. No. No, actually, I didn't sweat at all in your car when you picked me up, which is weird. It well, it wasn't that hot. Yeah. It was like, it hasn't been hot like this summer. Literally next weekend, it's 103. But it's like late because usually it's already 90s, Already, like, like already, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, this summer is kind of weird. Well, because literally right now, like, it's this week is 80s. Yeah, and it and feels nice outside. Next in a few days, it's going to be 103. Like, overnight, it's going to go from the 80s to the triple digits. Isn't that crazy? Crazy. I hate that. Fucking insane. But yeah, like not having AC in my car only really bothers me on the days where it's like triple digits. Because even if it's like 90, 95, I'm like, it's it's tolerable. It's not the best, but mm-hmm. you know. Honestly, like when the Mazda um, air conditioner went out, I was I was actually fine. I just had the windows down the yeah. whole time. And I and I have a sunroof. Mm-hmm. So that makes it really nice. Yeah. It's like, I just roll down all the windows, open the sunroof. I love driving in the summertime at night. Like, I'll just go for drives. Yeah. With with my dog. Yeah. I love I love being passenger princess. <laughs> the the lull and like the like the just the rumble of the road and like the sun hitting your face, like it just makes me fall asleep. Oh, me too. Instantly. It's so relaxing. Yeah. I love it. And then, yeah, he's fine. Like, so when I came back, Link, um, he slept next to me on the, so Link doesn't sleep with us on the bed. He likes to like either sleep on his bed or sleep on the couch. Like he doesn't stay on the bed with us. He just, I don't know if he gets annoyed or whatever or gets too hot. But when I came home after the Seattle trip, he slept right next to me and didn't leave. I know it was really cute, but also my back was hurting because my because Brandon's on this side and the and Link is on the other side, so I'm like squished in the middle and I'm like this weird S shape, and I'm like, I miss you guys and I love you guys, but my back is killing me. Fuck off! <laughs> like I I cannot do this. Yeah, yeah. Like I had to I had to move that. Well, I moved Brandon and it moved Link. <laughs> Who's it? The husband before the dog. <laughs> yeah. Dude, when I got home, fucking Eloise pissed on my bed. See, she's like a... Fuck you for leaving. Yeah, me. yeah. She's Not like, I miss you. It's more like, why did you leave? Why? Did you leave? Why? How dare you leave? Dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, Pretty much. Oh, when we go, I Carrie Park non-negotiable okay if i know we didn't get to do that either have the most picturesque like beautiful views of lake union downtown space yeah. needle mount rainier if she's out um yeah that's what it was called i was like okay what which one is this one mount whitney or like <laughs> <laughs> okay mount um, rainier yeah i remember learning that in school i loved how like there's just mountains and evergreen trees and so green yep so and i green. love how like the blue of the water and the green of the trees just like kind of mixed together yeah yeah and like it's like you can't tell where the land ends and the ocean begins that's the thing like it's just it's so unique i love um so the more north you, north, north the more north you go in california it starts to do ha- like have that look foresty vibes, foresty like like Oregon, mm-hmm. Washington. I love that. Like I love Oregon and how that looks because we've been to Oregon like a couple times. Yeah, and it's just absolutely beautiful with like the trees and it's so green. Mm-hmm. And um, but once you Much go cooler. like south in California, like I don't care about the desert, like Death Valley. 
I don't like people always want to move to SoCal, like with the beaches in San Diego, but I don't know. It's just not appealing to me. I do like beaches, but I would never want to live in SoCal because of the people. Yeah. And I've been to Nevada a few times. Um, and the desert, I kind of like the desert. I think do it's you? really pretty. Yeah. Like all okay. the sagebush and different animals and the cactus. And oh, yeah. I should have. Uh... And I should have taken a video of where Brandon's grandpa lives. Because literally out in the middle of nowhere, it's like right next to like the Indian reservation. And it's just like yeah. mountains and like, yeah, just yeah. what you just said. I, I forget how mountainous Nevada is. Yeah. Well, because I think people just think of Reno or like Las Vegas. Vegas. It's very flat, dry, not very pretty. I mean, it's all the whole entire state is just several different shades of brown. Yeah. But, I mean, there's still beauty in it. The drive of 80 is just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Wow. 50 is really pretty, too. Yeah. If you're going, like, to Tahoe. And there's never construction going north. You know? Totally. Only construction, like, downtown area. We should go to Tahoe soon, just for funsies. Yeah, we can. Take the dogs. Yeah, that'll be fun. They would love it. I don't know. I kind of feel like... Tahoe is such a cock tease because it's like I want the real beach. Oh. Not just a lake, even though it is so beautiful. I like Tahoe. Kings Beach is really nice. I've, see, I've never been there, so maybe we should go there. It's maybe. like at the tippy top. If they allow dogs. Because doesn't it take a couple hours to go around like Tahoe mm-hmm. itself? Yeah. Like, yeah, I think, I think it takes a few hours to get around the whole thing. But I think it's worth it. I love King's Beach. Let's go. Okay. Okay. I'll go. All right. We're like, yeah, we're like way over. We're not way over. We're like an hour and a half almost. Damn, we can talk for fucking ever. I know. And I still want to ask you about some other stuff, but not podcast related. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks for having me. I love doing this, dude. It's just so fun. Like I look forward to it every time. I love spending time with you. I learn new things about you every time we do the, do an episode together. Yeah, like I didn't know your uncle was a a yacht salesman and that your grandma was homeless and like all this other random stuff. Yeah. We're learning so much about each other. I know, even after 15 years. I'm excited to do our, our part two tour, normal or not one. Maybe two. Those are so fun. I can't wait to listen to the first part. I know. I still need to edit it. <sighs> I need to, um, uh, I need to like have a part time job, but still get paid full time. <laughs> <laughs> that's so the if anyone can, you know, hook me up, let me know. Hook a sister up. Pearls. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you in the next episode. Bye.